quarantine, cooking with the one and only Chef Kirk Boudreaux. Man, we hungry. This hey, Kirk, what you cooking today? Hey, man, I do. I, I do. I'm doing a little, just a little snippet on how to trim a brisket. Right. Uh, trim the fat. Because a brisket got two big, large, fat pieces on each side of it. Right. So you want to trim that fat out, get it out, and then season it. I say one, two, one, which is uh, salt, black pepper, garlic powder, and trim it. Put it on your smoker, man. Let it go for however long. Do you wrap it up, Kurt? Yeah, you can wrap it. You can wrap it in uh, that. that way, way you want to dry it out. Yeah. The butcher's paper, or you can use, uh, some people lose, use foil if they don't have the butcher's paper, but yeah. Okay. You put it in the oven? So, yeah, so you even say you put it in the oven? No, you don't want to put that in the oh. oven. You let that sucker okay, well, go until it's... Okay, where you put it at? I, I, I let it go to about 200, 202, something like that. Right. And then you go let where? it rest, in- and then you slice it. And get that get that uh, bark on that man. right because it's all about the bark on the on the brisket right and I I, I also have a so video you use, that shows so, so Eva's asking you using a grill and and I'm what kind and what kind of wood do you, a smoker what kind of wood a smoker uh, I use a mixture of pecan and post oak okay so I didn't know you can mix up the woods like yeah. that oh yeah mm-hmm. pecan mm-hmm. and right you and do that I use apple wood. Yeah. Okay. Applewood. Now you yeah, can use apple. That. Most most people out here in Texas they like to use hickory. Right. But to me that's a strong wood. But I like to use. So so applewood post post oak post oak and and, uh, and what's the temperature? Uh, two 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 hundred two or two. And for how many hours? It all depends on how big the brisket. If it's about a fifteen pound brisket, you want to go mm-hmm. at least a good twelve. A good twelve hours. Slow and low. So you 25. gotta keep getting up in the middle of the night, going and put That's some wood. All on. Night. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. Hey I, man, you ate my brisket, man. You bro, know I, the best I ever had in my life. <laughs> and then and then we had got some brisket from a restaurant, and we was and my friend brother Romario was over there. Right. So it was eating that brisket. Then Kurt coincidentally came with his brisket, and Romario mm. said, "This is the best brisket in Texas." Right. And I said, "Okay, well here come Kurt. Kurt bringing a brisket." He said, "For real?" I said, "Yeah." Kurt brought his brisket and pulled it out. I swear, better. his was fifty percent better. Wow! I put I Kurt Boudreaux's brisket on on my kids, bro. I, I, I I'm not lying. Wow. I'm not lying about that. I, I swear, that's a bad brisket. Yes, sir. Man, that's, that's a bad so brisket. <laughs> Kurt, so let everybody know how they can find the video. Man, you can find this video at rickandsmiley.com, man, and you can follow your boy on his social media at Chef Boudreaux Official. And you got the whole video because everybody video. love brisket but don't know yes. how to cook it because I can't. Thank you. Bruh, bruh, I can't. Uh, nah, I ain't never cooked a brisket. Bruh. I cooked a lot of things but I ain't never cooked a brisket. Bruh, we got yes. to do that, man. That's, sh- that's the best tasting meat ever. I show you how to trim it. That was so gay. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was going to find out. I was going to let you ride. But I'm like, hold on. <laughs> Pause for a second. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Nah, I'm, just, I'm talking about the best taste in barbecue ever. Oh, no. Yeah, no, 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 you got no, a little no, bit too passionate when you said that part. Say what, Rock? You got a little bit too passionate when you got to that part. <laughs> Boy, some people's ears went home. Huh? Uh, <laughs> like, 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 like the dog. Like the dog. <laughs> huh? Oh, man, y'all go to hell. <laughs> well, you want to ask her what, Chris? No. Um, I'll tell y'all, dog. My mama cooked good, though. On the ribs, ribs, back beans, bone cheese, mm-hmm. uh, a cornbread, mm. yeah. greens, yeah, and greens. Yeah. Now, now, his mama, his mama, Monica Smith, got a restaurant in Birmingham. Chris worked in the restaurant. Okay. So, Chris know how Chris helped clean up the kitchen last night. So, Chris, so Chris, we're going, we might, we're going to have some brisket, okay? You right? You down? Mm-hmm. All right, already, man. Y'all more, y'all give it up for <laughs> Chef Kurt Boudreaux. Oh, you know. Show coming up. Hey, what up? This your boy, Chef Boudreaux, man. Today, I'm going to do a quick little tutorial on how to trim a brisket. I'm going to show y'all how my brisket's looking. I got like three in there right now. But I got this fourth one that I'm the last one. So, I'm going to show you guys what to do. It don't work my damn hands clean, right? Bet. On a brisket, you got two hard pieces. They got this. Some people just season their briskets and throw them on. I like to take that that rough piece of fat off. This hard piece of fat right here. Some of this tender fat I can let roll. And then they got another piece on the other side, right? And I like to trim some of this fat off. I know I'm getting it off of the, off of the point point of the brisket. But 
this is the way I trim my brisket. Everybody ain't got to trim their brisket this way. So I'm going to start by going in here. Get in close, cameraman, so you can come see this. See that? All right. See, even this little piece right here is hard, still hard. It'll render, but I like to get it out. I like to get that out. See that right there? That's part of the point. That's going to be some good fat right there. But all that hard fat, I get it off. All right. Now you can trim this part here if you want to. Some people leave that on. I kind of trim it off just a little bit. If I was butcher uh, trimming this, you'd be like, man, where the brisket at? Okay. So flip them over right here on this side. We got some planes going on over the top I'm gonna get on in there come around here so you can see me getting this piece in see that all that flat off of that and you can leave that part because this what separates the point from the uh, flat this right here I like to get down in there too see that that's all hard fat Went just a little deep on that one. But like I said, this is the way I trim my brisket. Everybody don't trim their brisket the same. Some people don't like their brisket trim. But for all the people that have eaten my brisket, I have never had got one complaint yet. So, and my boy Mike, shout out to my boy Mike Prince. You know what I mean? Shout out to my boy. Ah, getting it in. Ooh, ooh. All right, that might be soft enough to render. But this Chef Boudreaux way, not nobody else. Shout out once, I, once again, like I said, shout out to my boy Eric Root. Shout out to my boy Kedrick Lee, man. Cats. And a special shout out to my homeboy. To my homeboy. Grew up with me. Went to Suno with me. You know who he is. My homie Nate Dog of Oak Barbecue, man. These cats, they already know they get down on briskets, man. They get down on ribs. They, my boy got that waggle beef up there at Oak. Just sharing some love, man. Should I say Oak? I got my own seasoning blends here. So I'm going to go ahead and start seasoning this bad boy up. And you don't, they, I know they call it a rub, but you don't rub your meat. Well, that didn't really sound too good, but <laughs> this Chef Boudreaux, what you expect? You know my motto, you don't need no tea to eat my meat. So, we're going we're gonna, to uh, see the Apache meat, right? You don't rub your meat. Some people like to get this part off, and then sometimes I get it off too. I don't really like all that. I'll trim that off. You know what I'm saying? I trim them dog pieces off. I don't really like that on the brisket. By the time, sometime you finish, boy, you've been trimming about five pounds off the brisket. So if you go get a 15 pound brisket, you might end up with 10 pounds. And don't be ashamed. Once I finish seasoning this bad boy up, guess what I'm going to do? Get this thick little piece of fat right here. Working on my nerves. I'm going to mop all that up with the rest of this seasoning that fell on my board. Alright. I'm 
Make sure all these crevices get some of that seasoning on them. Got some, I use kosher salt. Everybody use the different type of salt. I use kosher, like a, a thicker course of black pepper. I got some other blended spices up in here that I can't really give away. But, uh, you know, you can use your own, man. Make your, you know, you can go buy a store-bought rub or you can make your own. You know, some people have a, a sweet blend uh, with some brown sugar in there. Okay. So, after you season your meat, you should be able to drag all that on this. Once you patch your meat, nothing really should fall on the table. This is all on the meat. All right, now it's time. And some people fuss about this too. Fat up or fat side down. I'm going fat. I'm going to go fat side up on this. So. My other person is that on. Woo, that's so high. And I'm going to let these suckers smoke. You see me right at about 225. That's your boudreau. You know what I mean? About 250, 275. I did an earlier video yesterday about how to uh, do your brisket and everything and how to, you know, fabricate your meat. Get it all set and ready to go and seasoned and on the smoker. So, this is the end result right here. Look at that bark on that. Look at that bark on this brisket. I let them cool down so I can cook. I got some over here. I don't know if y'all can see it. Over there, but I got three more actually. And all of them got that bark on them. And I'm going to show y'all the difference between the flat and the point. This up here is the point. That's the healy part right there. This is your flat. So I'm going to use my old trusty. See if I can get this to suck of the slice right. Ooh. 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 See, you can tell this is the flat because the flat really doesn't have any marbling in it. See that? But it got that damn smoke ring, though. So, I'm going to cut this till I can't cut no more. Then I'm going to show you the difference between the point. And the point is where they make all your burn ends, stuff like that. Get you ready for Memorial Weekend. You know what I mean? Sit that right there. But now, flip this around just a little bit, just so I can show you. When your meat is tender, like I said, my motto is, you don't need no teeth to eat my meat. Look at that. I could just stick my hand in there, and it's still warm. I let it rest, but it's, it's still warm in there. And that's, this is your flat. And this is why you call this the flat. And this part the point. This one is like more healy looking. I'm gonna cut some of that fat off, but I just wanted to show you. And I'm gonna show you the difference between this way you get your burnt ends at. I don't like all that fat in my brisket. Some people like it. I don't like it. I get it off. So I'm gonna put that right there. Alright. Now and on top of that, the grain runs a different way. So if we was had this going this way, these grains are going two different ways. This one is going across. That one is going like that. So it's a little bit different. Okay, so I'm going to show you the difference between the point. Now see all that marbling and fat in there? See that? This is the best part of the meat right there. This, I don't really care for the flat, but everybody, black people like it.
Sometimes I'll take and hit it right here. Because you're supposed to cut at least a quarter of an inch thick on a brisket. But if your brisket ain't doing like this, you ain't shit. Yeah, I see. So, usually I hit it right there. Because I know I'm serving this to people. And they probably going to waste this brisket. I think that's what I'm going to do. Cut it down against the grain. And I'm going to come on back this way. And I got three more to cut just like that. My thing. This thing goes through the bone. Shout out to all the pit masters out there. Try to hold the meat together. For those that already didn't have my brisket, they know the time it T I E L. Banu. I think I'm gonna cut this with a small one. I got a little small one over there. But I still got the flat. I'm gonna show you the difference when I cut this point. Like that. All that fat in there. All that moisture in that meat. I let it rest. So that's why you won't see as much moisture. But if I was cutting it while it was hot. Then I let all the moisture out. Then it's really going to dry out. You don't want your meat to dry. But it sounds like a pot of macaroni being stirred up. i tell you that. Oh. We, I got to give me a little sample of this. Hold on. And this is some of my barbecue sauce I made. Boudreaux's barbecue sauce. Just lay in. Even though I don't need none of them. Man. Mm -hmm. Like I said before, bro, I had some good eating. But there you go, people. Woo! Y'all don't believe me, I speak about my brisket. You know what time it is. Shout out to my boy Rick. Now, once again, you can find this video at smiley.com. Follow your boy on Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. It don't matter. My YouTube channel. I can subscribe to your boy YouTube channel. Show me some love, please. I appreciate you. And all my other social media. Look at that. Man, look at that ring. Look at that. Man, come on. Come on, bro. Y'all better come on with the come on. But anyway, man, this your boy, Chef Rujo, man. You already know what it is. And I'm about to finish getting down, you know?